Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, uh, this uh, program, this uh, lecture service is brought to you by Fusion, Fusion Mobile e-learning clinic uh, on the go. Uh, we're going to be looking at reproductive behavior today in biology and by extension uh, we're going to be treating courtship. Uh, we're going to be looking at the definition of courtship, uh, the importance of courtship and the forms of courtship. I remember your uh, your humble host, um, uh, Olajide, aka Smoking Break. As for the question at hand is this, what is courtship? And uh, Courtship are uh, uh, the series of behavior uh, uh, that Partners tend to show forth before fertilization or reproduction. It is an instinctive behavior uh, that living organisms tend to show forth in response to a certain stimuli. Like when I show you a certain stimuli and you respond to it, we call it courtship. However, uh, this uh, response or this, uh, this instinctive behavior and response uh, happens to, uh, will lead uh, to mating, fertilization or reproduction. Uh, so I take it again, courtship. Uh, precede fertilization and reproduction. Uh, before fertilization and reproduction, they have to be courtship. They have to be uh, both partners coming together. Uh, they have to be a call and response. Uh, like most times, a partner can come and just uh, dance. The other partner will smile. A partner can just come and make a kind of sound. They have to be a kind of a uh, communication between them. So that communication is courtship. And now, when you look at a uh, courtship as regards a uh, human level, uh, it talks about a a a. Uh, 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 an espoused individual like a male and female coming together and uh, they tend to like uh, they befriend themselves uh, then from there when they see that okay both of them are somewhat compatible they get to know their parents and they get uh, married and so now we're going to be looking at the forms of courtship uh, there are basically four forms of courtship four forms of courtship our uh, pairing our uh, display our uh, territoriality our uh, seasonal migration but before then we're going to be looking at the importance of courtship and uh, one of the importance of courtship is that it brings the male and the female partner together uh, one thing courtship does is that it creates a platform where the male will come and the female will come again it prepares both parties the male and the female for possible mating it prepares both parties for possible mating take note courtship there uh, it's uh, the major purpose is for it to lead to mating fertilization and reproduction that's the major purpose of courtship and lastly it enhances fertilization and reproduction so we're quickly going to be looking at the forms pairing what is pairing a pairing simply means two animals forming a painting partner two animals forming a mating partner two animals forming a mating partner now pairing is seen in winged termites winged termites wing a termite that has wing uh, this is what happened the male uh, actually uh, locates the female then when the children get to see that said then uh, they mate it is also seen in fishes as well the male fish will go about looking for uh, the female fish and uh, when the then when they get together and they uh, tend to discuss, you know, there's a way they uh, they do their own discussion, and then if they both of them will mate, uh, the female will reproduce, the female will produce her egg, uh, because their fertilization is external, so she will lay her egg, Why? Uh, the male uh, fish will then release the sperm on the egg. Then after a while, the egg will get fertilized and, and that's all. As a matter of fact, the female fish will even carry the male fish for like two to three days. Ah, awesome. It is very, very awesome. Uh, so it is also seen uh, in toads as well. Now, when you see a toad croaking, croak, 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 and you think they are just shouting. No, they are not shouting. There is a reason for that. And most times when toad uh, tends to croak, they, get, uh, they go uh, into an open area like a pond. Then they croak. And they are croaking is to signal the female. Okay, young lady, Labake, I'm around though. Are you free? And both of them will uh, get to... Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, mating will occur for the reason we take place. In human, we know about human. But one thing about human is that it is either short lived or it is everlasting. Are you see, when uh, a man and a woman come together, uh -huh, it is either short lived or it is everlasting. It is either they get married or. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to be looking at display, display, display. I so much love this. Now, there are so many characters where we tend to show uh, when we're in the presence of that, uh, that beautiful girl. There are many characters that uh, we don't want to show when we're in our presence because uh, it will just, it will score us low, it will give us low score. Our points will not be good enough to get her. And so we have to package ourselves. And most times, we, give, we tend to sing when we see her coming. I uh, will sing with melodious voice. And many of us, I could remember those days when we go to a 
parties uh, because we want to get a two way notebook. Uh, all those souvenirs back there. We attend every party. And when they say, if you know you are here and you want to dance, we we'll first person to raise up our hands. We we'll go there. And when we see uh, those uh, fine girls there, we dance out our life. Even the styles that we don't know of, we do it. We end up breaking our vote. All for her. Uh, so this place simply means uh, attractive exhibition between mating partner. When you turn to show your skill and your mating partner is like, wow! Can you do this? Aha, uh -huh. that's all for display. Okay, so toad the croak. And when you see a toad croaking, the toad is not just croaking. There is a reason uh, why a toad is croaking. Uh, elders will say, uh, when you see somebody running uh, in, uh, in daylight, it is either something is pursuing that person or that person is pursuing something. In this case, the toad is pursuing something. The croaking is a signal. It's a signal. Are you free? Are you there? Uh, there are some movies we watch, uh, those local movies in the village. Uh, when a guy wants to like, uh, okay, call the attention of a lady, he will pick stones. Then he will throw it on their roof. The number of sound will make uh, the lady understand. You know, we actually learned all these things from all this low organism. It is actually fun. It's fun. I did it. You did that. Don't worry. Ah, so aside from croaking, we have nest making when the birds uh, tend to make nests. Ah, you know, when the male partner sees the, the female bird making it, like, wow, this is a good wife material. Look at the way, you know, it's like he would attract the spouse and then they'll create a platform. Both of them will mate, uh, they will release their egg, then they will fertilize the egg. Singing! Birds, they are very, very good at that. They know how to sing. You see a bird singing. It is to signal the other partner. We actually learned this character from birds as well. Humans, we do it. I remember they would write love letter. Eh, the cockroach in my cupboard. Uh, the kerosene uh, in my lamp bottle and stuff like that. We say it, we form it. You know, we have rhyme. You know, when I see you, uh, when I, you know, we do stuff like that just to uh, uh, make the other partner see us as uh, somebody that is compatible. We do it to upgrade our CV uh, so as to get to the permanent side. Uh, so we also have a uh, bright uh, coloration, display of bright coloration is seen in lizard. Just imagine a male lizard. A male agama lizard are uh, walking up uh, to a female lizard and showing the female lizard his head. Look at my come ahead. And then you're like, whoa! When did you get his hairstyle? Oh, let's go, let's go. And from there, they just go and they <laughs> thank you very much. So now we're gonna be looking at territoriality. Terry. Territoriality. Territoriality simply means uh, uh, it talks about organism marking off a particular area from uh, prospective intruders. People that are coming in, they mark up a particular area to prevent people from coming. As a matter of fact, uh, most times when they do that, they, they spray their urine. They drop their urine uh, in a particular area. They form a kind of cycle so people cannot come in. But you know something? People cannot come in, but it's not for the females. The females are free to come, you know, get free. You know, there are parties we organize these days, they will tell you, ladies, free. Men, you pay. We actually learned it uh, from uh, all these lower organizations. That's what we call territoriality. You don't want another guy to come in, but a lady can come in. Are you with me? So, territoriality, when you mark out a particular area, you prevent, you prevent it from intruders. Amphibians do not do this. Amphibians, they do not do this. Uh, because they hardly have a particular territory. They are on land to lay the water and all that. So amphibians do not do this. And lastly, we have the seasonal migration. Seasonal migration. Seasonal migration simply involves the movement of animals from one place to another. Then when they get to that place, they do the mating and everything. They now return home. <laughs> I love this. And that's why you see some people traveling down to River State, to Port Harcourt and all that. They go there and they, mm, then they return Oh. But they did not return the same. Are you me? So when they return, uh, there is uh, a sharp difference between uh, the way they were when they left and the way they were when they returned. Uh, so a very good example is seen in fishes, in birds, and in insects. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I presume you enjoy this class. I know, I know you enjoy it. You know, this is actually a wonderful class. So try as much as possible to go through the video over and over again uh, to get the important information there. Some questions will pop up on your screen. Uh, try as much as possible to, uh, to attempt them. Thank you very much.